Dear students, from today we will start uh, some other series of modules on web page development. So we, uh, you have, you might have seen uh, many different web pages or websites in your life. For example, we have learned in this course Google.com. That's that is a website, and there are many many other websites you might have seen, and. In this module, we will try to understand that how we can make such websites and how we can make the content very attractive and very user friendly uh, for the users and how we can uh, build such web pages. Those are uh, very attractive. So there are different ways of building uh, web pages. So one of the simplest way is using a notepad editor. So let's try to uh, build a first uh, uh, web page using Notepad Editor, and uh, we will try to also uh, understand that there are different uh, code complexities when we try to develop things using Notepad Editor. So let's start the practical. So you just need to open the Notepad, and uh, any web document start with the tag HTML. So you click uh, write html and then this is the end of the tag html right then uh, whatever you need to write can be written in the body tag so there are some other tags in between uh, the body and html which i am skipping at the moment and here you can write for example whatever you want to say like itc and you need to save this file okay save test html and you need to save this file with for example any name like index dot html and that is saved in test html folder so let's try to open this over here So this is test HTML and this is index, right? So if I open the index.html, it should be opened using a, a web browser because its extension is .html. So it is being opened. And you can see that ITC is written at the top of the uh, web page. So you can also uh, change this title. So for example, it's here D colon slash and the name of the folder. So you can change this as uh, if you want using this notepad and HTML before the body, you can write title. my first page let's save it and then you can refresh it and you can see that this has been written over here if you want to change uh, the appearance and heading of this itc uh, you can go back in the notepad and you can say that this ITC should be in H1 tag, which we learned in Microsoft World as well. So this is H1 tag finishes. Control S means save. And then you can try to refresh. So you can see that this ITC has been placed a little bit bigger. And you can uh, write this ITC in different ways like so this is h1 and then write it as h2 just to see the difference h3 control s and then you can click over here so you can see this is written in, in h1 this is an h2 and this as an h3 so this means that if we want to add anything in this html 
so we need to write a lot of code so for example if i want to add the table information so i would need to write table somewhere here tag and then for example i need to write tr for the row td for the column so it's getting much complex as we have just shown three words on our web page and we have written one two three four five six seven eight nine ten lines so in the next module we will start using adobe dreamweaver to make uh, uh, all of this thing um, uh, using uh, plug and play using just selecting the things and putting those things and we will not be making any changes in the code and we will be seeing that that kind of web page development would be very easier as compared to writing such a complex code at the back end so dear students let's conclude today's module we have learned that we can make very simple web page using a notepad editor however writing or using uh, writing uh, the code in notepad editor is very complex because if we want to add table if we want to add any uh, word so we have to type a lot of code so in the next module we will come back to you with uh, dreamweaver to make our life easier